Hi everyone, today we are making chunky skinny notepads with a twist. And what is that twist? Well, when you open, we have a nice fold out pocket. We have a pocket here, we have a pocket here, and you can even add a pocket on this side if you want. So not only are you going to have chunky skinnies, but you are going to have places to tuck this and tuck that. So I am going to give you a closer look in just a minute. But y'all know what time it is, it's time to make it. So I really like making skinnies and I like making chunky. So when you get to combine both, it is a good day. And that's what we're doing today. So we have an eight and a quarter by two and three quarter and half an inch deep chunky skinny notepad. Why is it a chunky skinny? Well, because when you look at it from the bottom, you can see that we have three notepads stacked. Then when we open it this way, you can see that we have a beautiful side here and I just put a little saying on mine. Here we have our pocket and then we have another pocket here and I added some tuckables. And here is our chunky notepad. So we have three notepads stacked to create the chunky look. So here's what we're going to need to make it. I'm going to be using that three pack of Dollar Tree legal pads, the junior legal pads, and they're already stacked together so I don't have to glue them together. You can break these apart because each one comes with their own chipboard backing or you can leave them together as I'm doing here. And what I did was I simply cut in half down the middle. So what I have here is a chunky skinny that measures two and a half by eight. And then I do want the sturdiness of chipboard on this so I grab some of my chipboard scraps and I cut them down. I have two pieces that measure two and three quarters by eight and a quarter and one piece that measures eight and a quarter by half an inch. Then I have my beautiful decorative paper. I have one piece that measures four by eight. I have one piece that measures six and a quarter by eight. And then I have a piece that measures nine and a half by eight. And I have some scraps that we're going to be using for the pocket. All right, y'all, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our pieces and we're going to lay them down on the chipboard like this. So I have already added double stick tape to the back of mine. I'm going to go ahead and remove the double stick tape from all of my pieces. And while I am removing the double stick tape, I want to thank everyone who left such kind comments yesterday for my sister and for me and for my family. I'm sure that most of us have experienced medical emergencies from time to time and they are not fun to deal with. They're actually very frightening, but everything is well with my sister and she was very pleased and touched by how many of you actually left comments for her. As she put it, they don't even know me and they wish me well and they prayed for me. And like I told her, that's how we are in this crafty family. We are truly family and we care about one another and we let that be known. So I am going to take these pieces and place them down with about an eighth of an inch in spacing. So again, thank you. It really was very touching. So I am just making sure my tape is nice and stuck. Then I'll take my stylus, press it against the chipboard, and drive it into the paper to get a score. Now the paper that I'm using is more of a lightweight paper, so it does not have a tendency to crack. But if you have a paper that has a tendency to crack, or it's a thicker paper, go ahead and do this because it will help to break up those fibers. It might not stop that cracking, but it might help to minimize it. So I am just going through and getting all parts and then I'm just going to stand this up and get all four sides ready to be folded over and I'll fold them over like this again getting them used to being folded I think I'm going to trim away just a little bit of this because I don't need it all now we're going to go ahead and just miter those ends and we simply come in here at the top and flare out just a little bit so that when we fold over we have a nice professional looking fold. If you think you've cut too short, go ahead and take that piece that you cut out, place it there, 
fold over and you'll never see that chipboard. You can glue that piece down or you can tape it down. So we're going to go ahead and do this on all four sides. And now I'll take some tape and I'm going to place my tape along the outer edges of my chipboard on all four sides. And then I'll peel away my tape backers. If you are watching my video, I would love it if you would watch the video all the way through. To help improve my watch time and retention numbers, I am really trying to get those numbers up. For some reason, March was a horrible month for my channel, and April is actually trending in the same direction. So I'm trying this and I'm trying that to hopefully turn things around. So I'm going along the edges and we are going to just smooth out. And I don't know if you can tell how nice and smooth and square that is, but that's that professional look that you want. So here's the jacket. Don't you think that that is beautiful? We're going to go ahead and take our liner and the liner measures six and a quarter by eight. I can see that I can trim just a little bit of that liner away. So I'm just going to grab my ruler and trim a little bit. So I'm trimming about an eighth. So start with an inside liner piece that measures six and a quarter, but how far apart you space will help to determine if your sizing is exact or if you need to trim any off. And I could see that I did. So that's exactly what I ended up doing was trimming. So now I'm just going to take some tape and let's cover that chipboard so that it's not showing. And then we'll go around the edges of the liner piece. Get that nice and stuck. Now we're going to take our tape and we'll go around the outer edges of our paper which is the liner piece. So now I'm just going to peel away all of the tape backers from the liner as well as the chipboard body and we will join this together. All right y'all, so all the tape backers have been removed. We can go ahead and take that liner and let's place it down on the chipboard jacket. Smooth everything out then I'll turn it to the side and work that spine because y'all know that we love a well-defined spine, one that is not puckering with paper and one that looks oh so professional. And by paper puckering, what I mean is here in the corners, if I didn't have these placed properly and laid flat, then you would see the paper bubbling. We don't have that, so we are good to go. All right, y'all, so now we're going to bring in the piece that measures four by eight, and we are going to score on the four inch side at two and a half and at three. Then let's just fold and burnish. So now you have a little booklet cover that looks like this. We're going to take our notepad and place it on the inside. For those of you who've been with me for any amount of time, you've seen me cut these numerous times. If you haven't seen me do this, I will try to find a video to link in the description box that demos how I did it. But basically in a nutshell, if you're hand cutting these, you simply mark off two and a half inches at the top slide down and mark two and a half inches and go to the bottom and mark two and a half inches. Then you take your ruler and you place it on those marks and you just cut through. That is all that you're doing. So now I can take this and we're just going to put our booklet inside like this. I am going to open this. We're going to place some glue on this piece and I placed it mainly along the edge. I didn't go too close to the score mark. Then I'm just going to fold it over 
like that. And that gives us a nice notebook cover. So now we can take it and place it on the inside. So I am going to add my glue. And y'all, this is a one and done for me. So I'm just going to add that glue. Take this piece, place it down, making sure that I don't have it placed on the spine and I'll fold that spine just to be sure. And you can see how beautifully professional that looks. So now that I know that I have my placement where I want it, I'll lift up, go to the back, and get that chipboard stuck. So now I have this cover. Y'all, isn't that pretty? It just looks so good from the outside. So now I'm going to bring in the scrap and I'm just going to make myself a pocket. So I'm just going to cut a pocket as long as I might want the pocket to be. You can cut your pocket whatever size you want. I just want a longer pocket here. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut there and that pocket is going to be right here. So I'm going to take my glue place my glue here, place my glue right here, and then I'll take my pocket and place that pocket right there. Then I'll open the inside and I'm going to cut another pocket for the inside. So I'm just going to make this one a smaller pocket and you guys can see that I'm not even measuring. I am just cutting. So this time, we're going to take this pocket and we'll put it right here. So let's go ahead and take that glue, put that glue on two sides, take this pocket and place it right here at the bottom, like that. I can see that I have just a little bit of overhang, so I'm going to trim that away. So now I have two pockets, y'all, and I'm pretty pleased with that. So now I'm just going to take a few pieces of ephemera and add some decorative touches to this. And this paper pad was all about coffee, so I am just going to figure out how I want things to look. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this piece because I like that it says, namaste here and drink my coffee. I think that's really cute. So I'm just going to take that, add just a little glue to the back, and we're going to place it right there. Then I'll just tuck in a little, a couple of pieces of ephemera like that. Then I'll open this one. And I like this one that says, but first coffee. So we're going to take that and place it right there. Then we can just take a couple of pieces of ephemera and tuck that ephemera in like that. You can place tags, you can place gift cards in here, whatever it is you want to place. Then I have this piece here that says, we are the perfect blend. So I'm going to put that right at the top because I like how that frames that page. I am going to find something for right here, and I like the life begins after coffee. So let's go ahead and add some glue, place that right there. Then I like this, it says life happens, coffee helps, and I'm going to place it down even though it'll be oriented in the opposite direction of the others, I'm okay with that because I like it. And remember, no rules in paper crafting. If you like it, then make it work for you. So this is what we have. I think it's pretty doggone cute. Now I just need to find something for the front. And I think I like the one that says the good old days are still to come, especially after a great cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I do like this paper. So this is what we're going with. I'm not even going to put um, 
a mat on the back of this. We're just going to place it down like that. And y'all, there we have it. Another beautiful, chunky, skinny notepad. I love making chunkies. I love making skinnies. And now I get to combine the two and they're absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to open this so that you can see what we have here. We added a pocket to this flap that we created for the top. And then we added some pieces of ephemera in both the pockets. But like I said, you can tuck in a note, you can tuck in cash, you can tuck in a gift card. We're coming up on gift giving season for those graduates. This would be a great little gift to give to someone. So this is how it looks on the back. I'm going to take this little piece of ephemera that says life happens, coffee helps. And we're going to place that right there. Super, super cute and super, super easy. One of the things that I do when I'm not adding a belly band or I'm not adding any ribbon, which I don't want to do to this, to keep it closed, I actually place something heavy on it and I let it sit overnight. And the next day it's been trained to lay flat the way that I want it. So that's what I'll be doing to this one, which is already starting to lay flat because I've had something heavy on it as well as to this one. But y'all, these are so stinking cute. Y'all know how we do it on the channel. We take the simple and we turn it into the exquisite. And that's what we've done with some chipboard, some Dollar Tree notepads, and some beautiful paper. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you're still here at the end. So leave me a comment below and let me know if you stayed until the end of the video, which I certainly hope that you did. As always, my friends, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.